Hey guys, uh, back again. Uh, this video is going to be going over how to generate a model using Eclipse uh, and a Dempierre. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Run, Run Configurations, and you're going to create a new job application. I've got mine right here, as you can see, my Generate Model. So you would just go ahead and click like new and it'll come up with like new configuration. So click on that and then you're going to want to make the name generate model and the project is a dumpier underscore 360. That's the project that we're working with right here as you can see. And then the uh, main class is .generate model. So make sure that all of this matches mine in your generate model now and then you're going to go to your arguments tab and um, the program program argument is this right here and then the VM arguments is just where you've got to know where your tables are located in your SVM folder and that's um, these locations right here and just make sure I mean this is what worked for me but it could vary for you depending on where it is in your SVM folder and same for this, but um, just make sure you get the code logic correctly with the U and the single print, the single parentheses and the percent marks and everything. So that's good. And then you're gonna go into your JRE and make sure that it's still six. So once you've got all that, you're gonna click apply. And since I've already done it once, it's not gonna let me do it because I haven't made any more changes. So you're going to click apply and then you're going to click run. And as you can like see down here it's starting to generate the models. All right, and then you can see right here that um, there were three models generated. And we'll go in over here into under the org.copier.model and see if we can't find those. So they're going to be under x underscore c underscore the name of the table. So oh, did I go too far? Yeah, okay, here they are. So uh, my table, the main one was uh, the minutes of meeting table I named was c underscore mom underscore mom. And then here's the participants line table and the discussion line table. So the uh, three new models have generated correctly. And now we're going to uh, create our own new model based on these models. So you're going to want to go up to the folder that all this is in, the org.compier.model folder. and right click and we're going to do a new and a new class so you're going to want to make sure that your uh, source folder is this right here and that's your SVM folder and then um, that your package is the same <clears throat> org.compier.model and then uh, the name of this uh, new Java class it needs to be match the naming convention that you used for your table. So if your table name is C mom, make this M mom. If it's C underscore mom two, make this C mom two. So since mine were C underscore mom underscore mom, I'm going to make mine M mom underscore mom. And that's all that you need to change in this. And we're gonna click finish. And here is the uh, new model right here. And the code that we need, I've already got it in this uh, notepad right here. So I'm going to copy and paste it. And again, it's really important. You can see I changed like uh, the names and everything to match. See, this is my C, X, C, C underscore mom underscore mom so just you really need to make sure that all of your naming conventions match or else it's not going to execute correctly 
later on when we're working with this new model. And um, we'll copy and paste this code into the uh, comments section or under the video. So just look out for this under this video and uh, you should be able to copy and paste it. But just like I said, make sure that you change your uh, names, your in mom mom names to match yours. So thanks for watching and check back in with us later for more videos.